putting on a mask from, oh my gosh, The Body Shop. It's their tea tree mask. It's starting to dry, so that's why it looks kind of funky and patchy. I'm also watching Sadie Kim's 21's vlog and responding to comments. And I did laundry today, boring stuff. It's Sunday, so I try to get a lot of stuff done on Sunday. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> um, I just thought I'd check in with you guys real quick. I'll see you later. Look what came in today. The Becca Jaclyn Hill Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. Look, the packaging has kind of like bubbles on it, and it has her signature. Has her face on it there. So pretty. Look, I swatched it. Oh, this is not doing it justice at all. Here, you can kind of see that. Whoa, buddy. Look at this beauty. I can't wait to wear it tomorrow. It's so pretty. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday morning. Excuse my hair. I just wanted to show you my makeup really quick because I haven't been doing that that often lately. Um, so I did like a green kind of smoky eye. And I used a L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in Gilded Envy. And then I did use some MAC shadows um, for my crease and my highlights. And, of course, I forget the name right now. Maybe I should get that for you. Okay, I couldn't see what the highlight name was, but I used Soft Brown in my crease. And then I also used Humid, which is another kind of emerald green color. Just dotted on the center of the eyelid to just make it pop a little bit more of a green. Because the L'Oreal shadow has a green undertone, but it's not like a pow green. And I did want more of a pow green. <laughs> um, my cheeks I'm wearing, look at that. Look at that highlight. Can you not even, like, take it? It's the new Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Becca Highlight. I'm already obsessed. I put it on last night just to try it out, and I was like, <gasps> and then I put it on this morning, and I'm just absolutely in love. My cheek color is Coralista from Benefit, and I also have Max um, Delicate Bronzer. It's called Delicates. My lip is the new lipstick I got from Lorac. Again, obsessed. Um, it is called Duchess. And the lipstick itself is matte, but I did put the accompanying gloss with it as well. It's so like the perfect pinky nude lip for work or every day. Brows are It Cosmetics, the Universal Brow. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I'm wearing, I'm trying out this Dr. Jart BB Disappore. Because it's supposed to be pore correcting and I might be a little bit whiter than I would like to be. I put some powder on top of it to make me a little bit more actually my color but so far I like it. You guys these little baby quails do you see them right there? They fell out of their mommy's nest. The mommy came back for them. Dad's over there somewhere, but we don't know how they can get out. I don't know if you guys can see because I can't zoom in that far, but she's here. You guys, I just got my first birthday present in the mail from Emily. Oh my gosh, I believe her channel name is Emmy Loves Makeup. I will correct myself if I'm wrong. Emily, you are so amazing. <laughs> I almost cried opening your present. Absolutely love it. So first of all, she sent me the Nest Rollerball because it just doesn't work on her, this fragrance. Um, and she wrapped it, by the way, it's completely full. I just put some on because I love it so much. Um, but she wrapped it so well in like all this foam. And in this, this little Sephora box. How cute is this um, tape? Isn't that so cute? I love it. And then she wraps my gift in this super cute paper, a wrapping paper. And the first thing, I died. I don't, I have like two, I think two Makeup Forever shadows, like the big artist shadows. And I absolutely love them. But for some reason, I just haven't bought very many of them. And she got me the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows number one. Has nine artist shadows in it. These are the colors that it has in it. 
And I'm gonna try to do this gracefully with one hand. Not so graceful so far. Look at how cute that front is even. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to try this out. <gasps> Look at those colors. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So, so me. Thank you so much, Emily. Okay, and then I literally squealed when I saw this. She got me bare again. My holy grail lipstick, but I told myself I was not going to repurchase. I'm almost out of mine. I think I said that on a vlog or something. Um, and so she got me a brand new one. This is my like all-time favorite, favorite nude. I've gone through three or four of these now. It's just my perfect nude, and I love it so much. It's the Sheen Supreme Formula. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then check it out. And then look at this super pretty card. I love it. I want to frame it. I love it so much. Emily, you know me so well, and I absolutely love that you know me so well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I absolutely love my gifts. And so here's my makeup. It's nothing really that special, um, because I just did a rose gold look. That's my go-to when I'm just running kind of late. And I'm wearing, and um, this is L'Oreal Infallible on my lid. I am wearing a new mascara today, the, um... Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Giving that a try. I like it so far. My brows, I used brow powder today, so that's maybe why they look a little softer, if you're thinking that. My cheeks for my highlights. What did I put on for my highlight today? Seriously? Can I not remember? For my highlight, I used that, um, my Ofra highlighting strips. And then for my blush, I used Songbird from Becca and Hourglass Bronzer. My lip is from NARS. It's the one that's in the pot. Chelsea's Girls. Chelsea's Girl or Chelsea's Girls. Um, and my earrings are just these little earrings because I needed to wear real gold today because my ears were super irritated from the, all the like um, costume jewelry I've been wearing all week. So I had to wear these little teen earrings. I really like this maxi. I probably wouldn't wear this to work normally, but we don't have any patience today. It's just pretty low key. I'm just gonna be working on statements and admin stuff, so I don't have to really worry about what I look like that much, but I thought I'd still be comfy and cute. My teeth look whiter. I've been whitening them, and I'll have a whole nother video about that with me and Mama Bee, because we've been doing this new whitening. I think it's working, what do you guys think? <laughs> okay, see you guys later. Hi honeybees, guess what time it is? It's time for cooking in the hive. <laughs> I hope you do, I didn't do this recipe before, but it's one We're of our favorites. We're pretty sure, we checked already. I don't think we have. We're gonna make lasagna. So here are some of the ingredients you need to do that. The simple way. Now, favorite ricotta cheese is polio, polio mozzarella, some sweet Italian sausage. We're not gonna use all of it, probably just a little, we put the rest away. Of course, Genio ground turkey, lean, not extra lean. Classico four cheese sauce and Hunt's four cheese sauce. Now, of course, this is the easier way to make it. You can make your own sauce, but no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Italian seasoning, of course, Mrs. Dash an onion, some olive oil, salt and pepper, and of course lasagna. Now, noodles. Usually we use the Barilla brand, but we're gonna try the Kroger one today. Because they didn't have it. Yeah. And we always like to boil our own. I've never used the ones that you just put in the oven hard. I just don't, that's it. Okay everyone, so I have some olive oil in the pan. So we're gonna first brown our meat. So first things first, get the onions going. Okay. Oh, heck, just use your hand. <laughs> what the heck's going on here? Okay. Then, once the onions are get sweated out, yeah, they're working out in there. Um, don't look at my dirty drawers. Thanks. I didn't. I didn't show them the drawers. <laughs> okay, see, so guys, I'm just getting yeah. them ready for Ooh, smelly for the turkey meat, and this, and I'm using a little less than half of the. Sausage. sausage, the sweet sweet Italian sausage. Okay, so let's do this first. Okay, now the 
onions I'm putting in the sausage and I'm going to put in the turkey meat. Just throw everything in there. No fancy cooking in this place. Start browning it. Breaking it up. Breaking it up and browning it. Okay. Okay, while it's cooking, getting all brown, you could start putting in spices. I got the Italian seasoning that has a couple of Italian seasons and just. You can get that one at Costco too, right? Yeah. Just throw it on in there, sprinkle it in. I know, why isn't Mama B telling us how much? <laughs> Ooh, a little spicy. bit of A little bit Smelling. of salt, a little bit of pepper. Just sprinkle it in like a tablespoon. Now, when you're cooking your onions, you also can put chopped garlic, but be careful if you burn your garlic, you have a taste of yucky. I'm just gonna put a little bit of garlic powder in. A little bit. Well, you know. <laughs> and last but not least, Mrs. Dash. I'm surprised I don't have a commercial yet. And just go ahead and keep browning. All right. The meat is brown and the sausage, the turkey. I'm going to put one jar of Classico in. Stir it around. One jar of Hunt's four cheeses. And I'm gonna put one more. Really? Yeah, because I need some sauce. Now I put down the heat, because I don't want anything to burn, but just cook it. Now with all the flavor from the meats, it's gonna make a nice meat sauce. The easy way to make a meat sauce. Also, I shredded up my pralio cheese. Mozzarella cheese. And I also put the, the ricotta in a bowl. You can put an egg in here if you want it to be looser. And you also could put some fresh parsley in here if you would like. I'm just keeping it plain today. And the reason why I put it in a bowl and stirring it, it's getting room temperature so it's easier to spread on the lasagna noodles. Okay, I have a big pot of water boiling has some salt in it, and now I'm gonna put the spaghetti noodles. What, I mean the lasagna, lasagna noodles. noodles, sorry. So, one, oops. Oh boy. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be okay. A little bit more fiber. <laughs> oh Don't my. do this at home, folks. Okay, and then oh my God. I have two boxes because sometimes they stick, and so you need, now let them, let them go down by themselves because if not, then you're going to have break. a real big mess and that's not going to be good. Hey everyone, the, I tasted them and they're al dente, which means they're not real soft and mushy, but you put, you put, ooh, that's hot. Get your facial while you can. <laughs> cool them off. Ooh. You didn't finish the sentence, so when you put them in the oven, you're saying so they won't oh, no. get too so when, messy, right? Yeah, or when you put ricotta on it, it's not going to split. Oh, okay. Oh, thanks. Got a bath just now. Got a bath, yeah. <laughs> About time. So, see, they're nice. Those are pretty good. They're pretty good. Kroger, so I'll give you that. You did real good. Yeah, they're Usually not falling they're apart. Not, they're nice and... You know, you want to get them cool, though, so you can touch them. And then I always take the water off of them. We're going to do... Um, come on over here, Melissa. I got my pan. Now, this is a whomping pan. Now, mm -hmm. you guys don't have to make a big whomping pan like this, but we do everything big here mm -hmm. in this house. So I got the sauce. So I'm going to ladle some... A couple of ladles full of sauce on the bottom oh, but this is a big one so until it can cover it see like see how i'm doing that i'm gonna need a little more depending on how big you would like your pan to be just My put pan. the first layer of meat sauce on the bottom right and spread it all on the end you got a little sauce on the side just so you know i do yeah it's gonna get on you there oh you baby okay now bring <laughs> it on over now we have our lasagna noodles my lasagna noodles that are cooler from, let's put them on top of each other. 
Don't worry if some are broken, we're going to eat them. <laughs> Ooh, they're hot still, so be careful you don't burn yourself. Just make sure you take a lot of this water off. Just with your hands is fine. If it gets like that, it's stuck a little, again, nothing to worry about. There's my ragot. Put a couple of piles in each corner. Um, don't tell anybody, but make sure your hands are washed. There's a lot of times, see how that happened just now that I tried to smooth it out? And it moved. And it moved. Well, you can use your hands. You could, you could use um, maybe a cake spatula. That's why if you put an egg in here, um, it, spreads, a little it spreads easier. But I'm not an egg kind of person, so <laughs> I don't want that in my lasagna. I know a lot of people do, but don't be afraid to spread it everywhere. Now you can do just your hands, spread it if you want. Just again, just make sure that your hands okay. are clean. Okay, next one. Now, put a little bit of mozzarella, mozzarella that we shredded earlier. Just so you know, guys, I, I actually did two things of mozzarella because- We have a big we, one. We have a huge place here. Put a little bit more sauce. I like to put a little sauce on top of the cheese. It might mix it melt. So now you're just layering. Just the layering. Same, the same way you did the first time, right? Now look, see when you put a little bit of the sauce, look how easy the cheese melt spreads. Oh. Little trick. Hmm. Here we go again. Lasagna noodles. Now, I've done this also with lasagna with uh, seafood. You can use it with a white cream Alfredo sauce, which is delicious also if you want to do that. If you don't want to do meat, you can do all vegetables. Lasagna is so versatile that you can make it any way you wish. Yeah, you could just do plain marinara. Either, plain right? marinara. You can Zucchini, layer, it. You can be layer it with different kinds of cheese. Again, here we go. One, two, three, four, and try to spread it as best as you can. But remember, when you put the sauce, it does help. Watch this, guys. You want to watch this. Here we go. No, you didn't do the mozzarella cheese. Not yet. I want to do. I want to show um, them. I want to show them. Yeah. It'll be easier to spread. And then you can put the mozzarella. It doesn't matter. There's no rhyme or reason. You can't mess this up. See, this is how you can tell I'm a baker. Because I'm like, no, that's she's not like, the right stuff. She's like, no, I want <laughs> the mozzarella. Not the right and I'm like, nope, can't mess it up. But now you can put the mozzarella on top of that. Because it really helped to spread the ragot. It was so easy to spread it once I had a hot tomatoes on there. All right. Do it again. You missed the spot again. Oh boy. <laughs> Just so you know, Harley's in the kitchen. He Let always me show can, him. They always can smell pasta. Oh, look cooking. at you. What are you doing, baby? He's a big Italian dog. He you loves want pasta. you want macaroni? Oh, yeah. you want pasta? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Harley loves pasta. He loves a lot of things. Well, you know. A little chubbo. <laughs> He's a little spoiled. But, He's you know, so cute, though. We love the little spoiled guy. And just keep layering. Okay, this is the last layer. So, of course, on the last layer, you don't put the ricotta cheese. That would not be good. Spread it. So you just put the sauce and the mozzarella, right? Yeah, just the sauce and the mozzarella. As you can see, I used every bit of my sauce. Oh, so you really did need three cans then. Because I made a huge one. Yeah. But again, if you're making a smaller one, two cans should be enough. Like if you just have two people in your family. But this freeze is really nice. Can I spring that now? Yeah. Look, you really did need all that cheese too. We went cheese happy though. Especially me. Okay. And you put it in the oven? 
just to heat it up. How many minutes? Uh, maybe half hour to an hour. So I had it on a 350 for about a half an hour. And basically the lasagna is already all cooked. And as you can see, all you really want to do is to make sure that the uh, mozzarella is going to get, you know, melted um, and melted everything's heated. And that it's hot. If it isn't hot enough, you can cut a piece and put it in the microwave. You're fine. So I just made a Vitacost order. And I'm going to show you briefly what's in it. I'm also watching Sadie Kim's vlog. I feel like every time I talk about watching videos, I'm watching Sadie. I am going to scroll past my address here. Okay, there we go. So, got some kind bars, some new kind of fruity bars that I saw someone else get and was like, ooh, I'm going to try some new laundry detergent. These are not for me, the diapers. I'm actually going to like a little baby shower. So I thought I'd just get the diapers on here. All kinds of fun stuff. I'm going to do a haul. So once it comes in, I will show you. Hey guys, me and Dave are here to say hi to you. <laughs> the Minion movie is today. I'm really, really excited. I know I'm such, I'm just a kid at heart. I can't help myself. I love the Minion so much. And in honor of the Minions, I'm wearing like a very bright yellowish shirt because it's the only kind of yellow shirt I had. I just finished doing my makeup. Jaclyn Hill highlight baby champagne pop. It's popping. It is popping. I love that highlight so much. And I'm wearing Coralie's to blush. I have a color pop shadow on. I think it's called sequin. I'm pretty sure it's sequin. And that perversion mascara from Urban Decay is amazing. I'm loving it. Brow powder from Sephora. Uh, me and Dave <laughs> are going to show you my new patio furniture. Um, Mama V actually found it on Craigslist for 140 bucks, And it is also, it's like a set that you can get at like Lowe's and things like that. It's usually like $600 or $700. And it looks so good. So I'm going to show you now. All right, we're going to go outside here. This is my backyard. The grass definitely needs to be cut. Let me close this door really quick. Don't want to let the bugs in. Okay, so here's my new furniture. I hope you can see it. Let me go around the other side. There we go. You can see inside my house there. Isn't it pretty? I forget what brand my mom said it was. Something Bay. Um, I really love the table design. Isn't that pretty? And this is glass here. And it's like that weaved kind of wicker looking. And these cushions are from Pier 1. They did not come with the set. But we did get them on sale for 50% off at Pier 1. So yeah, of course they had to be that kind of minty blue coloring to match my house. My yard is really boring and the grass is very overgrown right now. Show you it real quick. Don't really know what the purpose of these two cement blocks are. <laughs> the past owners did that, so years from now I plan on changing this backyard up a bit. But for right now, just focus on the cute furniture. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm going to McDonald's. I know what. <laughs> I can't even tell you the last time I went to McDonald's because I don't really like their food. Um, if I'm gonna go to fast food, I'm gonna go to like Chick-fil-A or Wendy's or I guess some people will consider Chipotle fast food and that would be my number one, as you guys know. But I'm going to McDonald's because they have minions um, for the Happy Meal toy and one of them is a vampire minion. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I'm obsessed with vampires. By the way, I'm parked right now. Um, I'm obsessed with vampires. I love True Blood. I miss that show so much. Vampire Diaries, Twilight, um, Interview with a Vampire. Some of you may not know that because you may be too young, but if you ever want to rent a really good vampire movie, it has Brad Pitt in it and Tom Cruise and Antonio Banderas. It's a really good one. Anyways, so I really, really want the little minion toy, so I'm gonna go through the drive-thru right now. I'm gonna take you guys with me and see if they have the little minions. And I want to see if I can just buy them without having to order any food because I really don't want to get a Happy Meal, but if I have to get a Happy Meal, I will. So, let's see. Let's see if they have them. 
Can I get for you? Hi, am I able to buy the little minion Happy Meal toys separately or I have to buy a Happy Meal? No, you can get the toy yourself. Okay, do you have the vampire one? Um, give me one second. Okay. No, we don't have the vampire one right now. Okay, can you see, sorry to keep asking. Could you see if you have the one with the guitar? I think it's one of the talking ones. The one with the guitar? Yeah. Give me one second. Thanks. Don't have that one yet either. Okay, which ones do you have? We have the martial arts one. And the groovy one. Okay, I'll take the groovy one. You'll take the groovy one? Just one of them? Yeah. Okay. And that's it. Alright, I'll have your total first one though. Thank you. Didn't have the vampire one. But they had one that's a groovy one. So I'm going to take him. I'll show you guys after I get it. Alright guys, so I got the groovy guy. <laughs> he has like a little tie-dyed shirt on. And, oh, I guess he does a little dance. I'm gonna have to show you this when I'm not driving. So you know what this means. I'm gonna be going on a mad hunt to every single McDonald's to see if I can find the vampire minion. So, <laughs> I hate when something like this happens. Like, I don't need it, but I want it. And now this is like, I'm on a hunt for it. So, I want the vampire one, and I want the talking, there's like a couple talking ones, but I really want the one that has the guitar. I can't think of his name. It's not, his name's not Bob or Dave. It's the other one. I can't think of his name right now. So here's what he looks like. And wait for it. <laughs> he laughs. So we got two more minions, me and Mama B. This guy is the controversy, that he's had a controversy with what he says. People think that he says WTF. I don't know if you can hear him. Not that. That one. I don't know if you guys think he says that. I think it's silly for people to think that, but I had to get him just because he's the one that there's a controversy over. And then this one, I found the guitar guy. He's so cute. I think this guy's, what's his name? Kevin, I think. singing it's so cute you're on the vlog <laughs> we're going to see the minion movie banana, banana. yeah that harkens here's mama v hi everybody she's very crabby today very crabby today <laughs> but maybe the minions will make her day <laughs> okay we'll see you afterwards i'll tell you how it is guys look at his watch it's Minion. It's off again. They saw it though. Hey guys, so we just got back from the Minion movie and dinner. We went to Olive Garden and I totally forgot to vlog, sorry. Um, I think it was cute and there was, me and mom, I mean Mama B was definitely laughing and I was laughing too at some parts, but I mean, I wouldn't probably go in the theater and see it again or anything like that. I think it was cute, but it wasn't like the, maybe I just had high expectations for it. I think, think it was scary for kids that maybe were um, too young because it's about evil. Oh, Mom, Mama B and I thought there was one part that was really kind of scary for little kids. Um, like all the villains are like chasing after the little minions and there's some scary villains. Like there was this really scary clown. I don't like clowns. And if I was younger, I would have been super freaked out at that part. 
Um, so we thought it was a little scary for them, but there was some really cute parts and really funny parts. I was actually sitting next to a little, a little guy, a little kid, and he was super cute, and he seemed to really enjoy it. So I think if you have little ones that love minions, they will probably love it. Hey everyone, Mama B got some new awesome sofas, and you'll never guess where she got them or how much she paid. She only paid $200 for both sofas. She got them off Craigslist. And they're brand new. Well, they look brand new. The lady had them in her family room. So, I mean, her formal living room. Like dining or living room, yeah. Yeah. So that's what they look now like. Get some pillows. Thought I'd just update you guys since you came with us sofa shopping the other day. And Harley's over here. <laughs> <laughs> He's being silly. Thank you.